A dynamic host configuration protocol, DHCP, server automatically assigns IP addresses and network configuration settings to devices on a network. When a DHCP server is configured for multiple VLANs, it manages IP address allocation for multiple subnets or segments within a network. Each scope represents a separate range of IP addresses, subnet masks, and other related settings that are specific to a particular subnet. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure a DHCP server on a CBS 350 switch for multiple VLANs using the web user interface. Next. Before you start, make sure you can say yes to the following. You have multiple VLANs. These VLANs are assigned to interfaces. And IP addresses are assigned to these VLANs. Once these are set, it's time to get the DHCP server configured. The first step is to enable the DHCP server on the CBS switch. Log into the web user interface of the switch and navigate to IPv4 configuration and then DHCP server. Select properties and enable DHCP server status by clicking the checkbox next to it. Click apply. It's important to remember that a switch cannot be configured as a DHCP server if the switch itself is a DHCP client. If you receive an error message that this is your situation, you can change the IP address of the switch to a static IP. If you aren't sure how to change this, click the link in the description for a video that covers these steps. Next, it's time to create different IP pools for the VLANs and name them accordingly. Select Network Pools from the main menu and click on the plus button to add a pool name. I'll enter VLAN2, the subnet IP address, and use 24 as the subnet mask prefix length. Enter the address pool Start and End fields. This will be the first and last IP address available in the pool range. I'll leave the rest of the options as default. Once you've configured the network pool, click Apply. Similarly, I'll create a pool for VLAN 3 and VLAN 4. Under the network pool table, you can see the three VLANs along with the address pools for each. Once that's completed, select Excluded Addresses from the main menu and click Add. Here, you can either add a single IP address or a range of IP addresses that you don't want given out by the DHCP server. Typically, the first IP addresses from the DHCP IP pools are excluded, as they are often reserved for network infrastructure devices, such as routers, switches, and servers. They're also used for static IP assignments. Excluded addresses are configured to avoid conflicts with the DHCP server address assignments. After all pools are added, that's it. You've configured the DHCP server on your CBS 350 switch for multiple VLANs. To test and verify the configuration, connect devices to your interfaces. I'll connect to ports 2, 3, and 4. After that, initiate a DHCP client request to see if the IP addresses are assigned to the connected devices. Select Address Binding from the Navigation pane to see that IP addresses have been assigned to DHCP clients. Great! Confirmation that DHCP is already at work on the network. To save your configuration after a reboot, don't forget to click the red blinking Save icon. That's it! The work on your end is complete. The CBS 350 switch is now set as a DHCP server for all VLANs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.